We've had a strong magnitude 4 earthquake just now, rattling upstate New York. It's right there in Lake Erie and uh, on the black line there. We have magma right under the Great Lakes. We'll talk about that. This is a magma plume right there. All of you, please be very careful. This is the magma there. We've had a four magnitude earthquake just this past hour. I happened to be looking at the maps for earthquakes because we had an earthquake in Greece uh, while I was in church about two, three hours ago, and uh, we heard the boom sound and then the shaking. But we also had a four magnitude earthquake in Canada, across the border from upstate New York and the Adirondacks, and the Adirondacks did shake. And it's just this past hour, that's why you have it red. The red is the past hour, the blue is the past day, and um, we know that every river, what you learn in Geology 101, every river is a fault line. This is the St. Lawrence River. The Great Lakes area, the horseshoe mantle plume under the Great Lakes, that magma has been there for about a billion years, is a horseshoe shaped magma. And uh, the St. Lawrence River basically goes into the Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, and then basically joins up with the Lake Mississippi River, which ends up here in the Gulf of Mexico. So you do have a fault line. Basically, this here is the New Madrid Seismic Zone. And uh, it should be the New Madrid Fault Rift Zone because of the fact that this part is sloughing off. This part of the United States will be sloughing off cutting uh, the continental United States into two, okay? Uh, and we do have magma under there. We know we have Maine having five volcanoes, four of them are in a 100 mile uh, distance. And this is huge, four, four magnitude. Very few people reported it, about 105. But this is what it looks like. Let's go to the uh, Population density is around Montreal, but uh, this is the Adirondacks right there, as you can see. Uh, up from uh, Utica, Ithaca, New York, Syracuse, New York. And uh, New Hampshire. New Hampshire must have felt it. Okay. Let's go to the um, topographic, the aerial. That's it right there. Now, you, the uh, USGS stops the frequency in this square right here. And we don't know how many felt it uh, more south from there. Now, we know that earthquakes here are felt 10 times more than they are felt in the west coast. And this, of course, are the Great Lakes. And this is where you have the mantle plume that many people don't even know exists there. There's magma under there. Let's go back to topographic, right there. Uh, at one point, Lake Superior was flush with um, Yellowstone. Okay? And the Great Plains have uh, spread because of the magma that's under there. Right there. Going back again to the aerial. There we go. This is Mississippi River, as we said before. Okay. If you go in, you see there's a lot of river systems. Crunching and river systems. Okay. Uh, all of you there, please be very careful. Sorry, let's push in again. Push in. Okay. Push in and our topographic. Right there. Now, the summary. Most of North America, east of the Rockies, has infrequent earthquakes. Here and there, earthquakes are more numerous. For example, the New Madrid Seismic Zone centered on southeastern Missouri in the Charlevoix Camus. This is the zone that we're talking about in the area of the Great Lakes. 
Quebec, New England, New York, Philadelphia, Wilmington Urban Corridor, and elsewhere. Most of the enormous region from the Rockies to Atlantic can go years without earthquakes large enough to be felt. Earthquakes east of the Rockies, although less frequent than the west, are typically felt over a much broader region than earthquakes of similar magnitude in the west. East of the Rockies, an earthquake can be felt over an area more than 10 times larger than a similar magnitude earthquake on the west coast. It would not be unusual for an earthquake for magnitude as we have here in eastern central North America to be felt by a significant percentage of population in many communities more than 100 mi a kilometers, 60 miles from its source. Okay, Most earthquakes in North America occurs fault line, faulting within bedrock, usually deep miles, induced seismicity, well, I don't think there's induced seismicity here. Um, uh, mad made in fracking and the stuff. Now, uh, how many miles is that? This is 30 miles, 30 miles, 60 miles, definitely. They must have felt it. Did they feel it in Boston? Anyway, anyone, anyone around Boston or uh, Concord, uh, New Hampshire, Boston, Massachusetts, if you felt it, please uh, leave a comment. I'm sure the Adirondacks felt it. Uh, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. This is what's happened there today. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.